Today, you're going to learn how to treat yourself. We're gonna work on back pain today. This is the type of back pain that you might be experiencing if you're doing a lot of standing, if you're doing a lot of walking, if you lie down on your stomach. And today we're gonna to work on uh, a couple different exercises that you can do, particularly in the laying down position. Uh, it could be on the floor, but if you can't tolerate laying on the floor or it's hard for you to get up and down, off of the floor. These exercises can be performed on the bed or also on the couch. A couple things too, if you're having difficulty with uh, bowels and bladder, if you're having trouble with uh, pain shooting down the legs, uh, down from the lower back, down to the feet or anything like that, if it's radiating we call it, uh, if you're having trouble with night sweats, fever, chills, anything like that, you might want to seek medical attention regarding those items, okay? My name is Preston Brown, physical therapist, and I'm the owner of Prestige Therapy and Wellness and Prestige Fitness WI, and I want to help you out today. So enjoy these exercises, and please leave me a comment if you have any questions or if you're having any other types of issues and you would like me to make any other types of videos to help you, that's what I'm here for. All right, so we're gonna go through the back exercise routine. So laying down, like I said, if you can't do this on the uh, floor, you can do this on the bed or if you're laying on the couch, wherever you're comfortable, okay? So what we're going to do now, um, if it's too much to lay flat on your back, um, you always can use your hands just for a little support underneath the small of your back. But what we're going to do is try to bring the leg straight out in front of you, okay? And resting comfortably, if you can rest your hands on your stomach, that's perfectly fine. What I want you to do is not hold your breath. What we're going to do first is start with squeezing the buttocks together. So we're just squeezing the hips, squeezing the butt. Hold it, two, three, four, five, and then relax. And then we're going to again, squeeze, hold, two, three, four, five, and then relax. The next exercise is going to be squeezing the top of the thigh. So you're flattening the leg straight down, hold, two, three, four, five, and then relax. Push the legs flat down, squeeze, hold, two, three, four, five, and then relax. Where if you can keep your legs bent, it works a little bit better. Uh, the other thing to make your legs comfortable or your back comfortable is you can slide a pillow underneath uh, your legs or if you have a, a foam roller, uh, one of those rollers that I have over there, you just roll it, put it underneath the legs and that will support. Uh, otherwise, just have your knees bent, feet flat on the surface that you're laying down on. And then what I want you to do is to think about flattening the back or pulling the belly button towards your spine. So you're, you're flattening down, you're holding, you could put your hands underneath your back to feel if you're flattening, but you're just pressing. Try not to hold your breath. Count one, two, three, four, five, and then relax. And then again, we're pressing down. Hold it, two, three, four, five, and then relax. Exercise I want you to work on. It's called a heel slide. You can keep both knees bent, and we're gonna work on one side of the body, then we'll work on the other side of the body. And all you're going to do is you're going to slide one foot down, hold it, two, three, four, five, and then slide it up. And then you could alternate. So you could do the other side or you could just work on the one side at a time. But I'm gonna alternate here, so I'm gonna do the other foot. We're sliding it down nice and slow. Hold it, two, three, four, five, and then bring it back. Good and then slide the other foot down and then bring it back great and then we're switching sides here slide it down i hope you're doing well remember to breathe and then bring the foot back so the next exercise we're going to work on is called a clamshell i grabbed the pillow because that makes it a little more comfortable and what you're going to do you can use your top hand and you can lay on either side because if, if it's tolerable, we're gonna do it on both sides. But what you're going to do is keep the top hand right by your hip bone and then 
uh, what you're going to do is keep your feet and your knees together and we're going to bring the knees apart and you're going to hold the top leg up two three four five and then nice and slow down good and we're going to do that again you're going to bring that top leg up or knees apart two three four five and then nice and slow down now when you do this exercise the big thing you want to do is remain on your side you don't want to roll out with your upper half of the body with your leg you want just the leg to move and if it's not a big motion that you can do that's perfectly fine you do whatever you can tolerate now this side what we're going to do is the same thing keeping the feet and the knees together and then all we're doing is bringing the knees apart while you're keeping the feet together hold two three four five and then relax sometimes you might feel one leg is more strain or pull or if it's more difficult or weaker too so we're going to lift hold one two three four five and then relax so there you have it you managed to treat yourself we have to take into consideration these types of exercises that we're doing for the lower back can make muscles tired we can fatigue muscles also too you're doing some stretches and things like that. So you want to make sure you take breaks in between doing exercises. You don't want to do them necessarily every single day, especially if you're starting to do exercise. So you might want to start every other day, two to three times a week with the exercise sequence. With the amount of exercises or repetitions, if you're able to tolerate between eight to 12 of the repetitions, that's perfectly fine. And also you want to make sure you're watching your breathing, not holding your breath while you're going through the exercises and your proper technique and if you have any other questions as mentioned leave them in the comments love to hear uh, from you and then also too um, if you're having any other issues or difficulty in uh, your everyday routine and you would like me to post a video regarding maybe something you're having trouble with please leave that in the comment section as well and as always i appreciate you watching please subscribe and hit the notification button for me. And that's uh, greatly appreciated. All right. Till we talk next time. Bye-bye now.